Hello everyone, it's me again, uh, Funk Doc as always, and we have a three-player game on France. This time it's me, Sparablinda, whom we've seen in two-player games but not in too many multis, and Blake, who is another very strong player with over 45% win rate. So this should be a good one. Three-player on France, too. Uh, France is a pretty quick-moving map compared to others. I bid 7 for the 4 plant because I don't value the 4 as highly in 3 player. The turn order advantage gets smaller when there's fewer players in the game. So I will definitely pass it at 8 and go for the 3. And I get the three at cost, which is good. Very, very good. France, as always, means that the plant 13 is removed from the game, and 11 is always the next plant drawn after 10 to take advantage of the cheap uranium on France. 21 goes under the deck. That's a big, big deal. Big, big deal. This could mean a slower early market than usual. Alright, so it's to me for the build, and whatever do I do for the build here? I think I build one city. Leon is the safest, but it's not cheap and it corners you. I think I'd rather go into... Hmm, I could do Le Mans or I could do one in Paris. One in Paris seems fine. Other, a lot of other players with the three plant like to do the triple build, all three of the quote-unquote cities that make up Paris. I'm not as big on that play. If I'm going to go for a plant like the three or the four, I really want to get that early turn order. Apologies, I'm, uh... Okay, there we go. So I got my Paris build okay. I can get, um, you know, I could lock off the rest of Paris here, go for Ruin and that. I'm okay with getting myself into the cheap part of the map. If it's, like, when it's a corner like that. It, when it's a corner of the map, I'm okay with it if it's really cheap. Which, uh, letting me have all of Paris uh, definitely is cheap. Sparrow should pass on plants in this situation. Yep. Now Blake has the decision to make. Blake could buy a plant, most likely the 9, or pass and make me take one of these, which in which case I would take the 5 to balance out colon oil and still get a decent spot in the turn order for next turn. There it is. Yep, I'm taking the 10 now. All right. Well, I'm definitely building all of Paris now, that's for sure, and definitely buying max coal with all the other coal in the game. 23... Yeah, I'll do this. I'll buy all of the three dollar coal. Eh. 
And also, apologies, I am playing a game of Dominion right now. Uh. So let's see what else was drawn. 19, 34, and 35. All right. And we know 46 will go under the deck this turn. Now I'm in a great position to fight for the 11 in the next turn because I could pay a lot for it and just get like an oil with it to power three cities in the next turn and then build after that. And yeah, Blake did the obvious Leon build, so the yellow colored player building in the yellow region, kind of hard to see. Fire all of this now. 46 goes under the deck. There's 50. We know that's going to be the next plant to go under. And time to fight for the 11. And with 19 showing in the futures market, this could get bad. And by bad, I mean very expensive. Could get big, is what I'm saying. This should go for over 20 bucks, I think. Yes. Trash the money lender, please. In my Dominion game, I mean. <laughs> Blake pa Blake drops out of the auction, which is interesting. I'll still bid this, though. This is still not where it needs to be yet in price. I'll pay 20 for it. Ooh, 15, okay. That should get a little bit of bidding this early in the game. I don't regret it though. 11's a much better fit with my current plants. So a little bit of bidding on the 15. Yep, there's bidding, okay. The fact that it's getting close to 20 makes me feel a lot better about my uh, paying 20 for the 11 plant. And Blake, does, Blake comes out of this without a plant, so uh, they're in the worst position right now. Out of all of us, I think. In fact, in this situation, I could build Ruin. I could build to four with Ruin and run 11 and 10 together. That's what I could do. If 
five plus three, eight. Yeah, I have exactly enough to do this. Yeah. Store an extra coal even and uh, do my build. That's what we can do. That's what we can do here. Yeah, being able to build a four this turn is a big advantage right now. Especially because I need to make sure I'm not completely fenced into Paris. Fifty out, twenty-six in. Well, that's a big deal. And of course, I pass. Everyone will pass to Blake, and then Blake will buy one of these plants at the bottom, I think. Blake might buy six here. Or me I mean, 19 is bad with how expensive trash is at the moment. Okay, Blake does not buy a plant. And now we get 16 on, which is, uh, which is welcome at this point. We have a little bit of a ways to go until we reach the good plants here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to build Dijon here if Blake doesn't build. Although Blake can safely build, so Blake should take Dijon, I think. Nope, doesn't build. Time for me to punish. That's really, really good for me to be able to get this in step one. My builds are fantastic now. That 20 connection from Paris to Dijon's a lot more useful than you might think at first. I'll go for 16 now. I can, because now I can stick to running 16 and, ooh, 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 ooh. 12, 14, 17 are the duds that could come. 18, I'd be really happy, I'd be happy with getting 18. 20, I'd be fine with, yeah, I, I, okay, I'd rather have 22 than 16 because 26 should come onto the market before too much longer here. Having 15 and 16 together is not ideal. It's not a good combination to build the six cities with. Not that efficient. And Blake bites the bullet and buys 24 now. 12 comes afterward. Again, I am perfectly happy with my situation here because it's gonna take a little while, a little bit of a while longer before 26 comes onto the market. I'm not gonna store extra coal at this point because, oh yeah, so Blake has to take the other connection. There's a build to six for Sparrow. So I'm kind of forced to stay at five now okay with that. Forty-eight. 
42 to go under the deck. And now time to bed. Thirty six and thirty nine were drawn. Miss those. People are probably taking some time calculating how much they'd be willing to pay for 26. 16 being in the game makes 26 less sexy than usual, but it's still a tremendous plant for this stage of the game. And a plant you can take all the way to the end. And there's a, There's still a good number of plants left that are lower than... Lower than 26. 26 will set me up well for uh, the rest of the game because I can just do like 26, 11, and 22. That's a combination I can carry all the way to step three. I won't need any more plants after that until we get to the end game. So that's the appeal of it for me. That's why I'd be willing to pay 40 plus for it. Probably close to 45 here. Yeah. I mean, Blake's had expensive builds, sort of, and had just had to buy 24 when trash is expensive. Blake's not in the greatest situation with money, is what I'm saying. Sparrow powered six cities last turn, so they're probably a little better off. pay for this. I'll pay. I mean, I will pay close to 50 for this. Will I actually pay 50, though? I think the answer to that is no. I don't want to touch 30, though. I don't even want to touch 30 right now. Not with 24 in the game as Blake's best plant. This is fine. I mean, Blake might buy 30 to replace 24, maybe. I suspect they'll pass, though. Yeah, okay, they pass. That's very reasonable. And now one of us is going to need to build a 7, and I think it'll be me. Because what I think we need to do in this situation is build a 7. If Blake doesn't. Blake might be more desperate and build to seven themselves, in which case I'll just sit at my five here. Nice thing here is... Nice thing about this... I can build a six and actually stay bottom in the turn order. It'll be an expensive city, but I think I'll do it. And Sparrow's the player I would need to block more, so I'm going to build Wrens. Since that's not too... I mean, that's a bit of a costly jump, but not too bad, and it also gets me this uh, direct connection to Breast, if I, should I need to break a stall.
So I paid some expensive connections, but they're expensive connections that uh, get me into pretty much like almost the entire map. And like all the cheapest parts of, uh, of the map here. 29, this is a very good plant for me right now. Spara passes on 29, which is interesting. I will actually bid on 29 here. I'll actually bid on it. And there's that crappy 30 again. I feel really good right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i'm very happy with my value here and also it means i am going to use 29 as an oil plant because we need to attack spara blenda so i think this is the time for me to break the stall now So I'll build Brest and also Limoges, even though it's an expensive connection, because that will get me to power my eight cities this turn. Get full use out of my, my cheapo Crespo resources here. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, that puts 18 in. Then another plant's going to get removed, though. So we'll see what happens next. Yeah, I'll do that. Try to make the most money possible this turn with these jumps. I don't know if this is actually good, though. Twenty-eight in there. Okay. Ooh, 25. This I will bet on. Twenty one going under the deck does make twenty five better. There's less competition for coal. That said, though, Sparablinda paying almost paying, you know, over 90 bucks between 25 and 26, I feel like that's not a winning combination here. I'm content to pass. Because that's not a good setup to get to 18, and I should be able to make the most money at 17 cities. Therefore, I will pass in this situation. Because we're getting really close to step three here. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I'll just pass. I'll pass. I think Blake will buy 28 because Blake desperately needs to make money. And step three will come next turn if Blake buys 28. Yes. 37 was the last plant remaining. So this means 38 shall go under the deck, and step 3 card will be next. I feel like I should be ahead in this game because of how much Spara has paid for two fives, which is not your ideal setup going into step three. Like, paying a lot of money for two five plants when you might have to replace one of them is not great. Now I definitely have to put coal on the 29 here. I 
I'm also planning not to build this turn. Yeah, because I want to go bottom in the turn order for next turn. I have a bunch of money built up. I can get some good builds going. My plan is definitely build into Blake, though. For next turn. And I will burn the oil instead of the coal for sure. Unfortunately, Spera will get to build... Ooh, and Spera can't even afford to build to 10 cities. That's very good news for me. Like, I must, I'm way ahead on money at this point. I'm fine with that. So, we only have two of the seven capacity plants in the game. Actually, no, 36 is in there. And I can buy 36. I can safely buy 36. And I want to buy 36. Because I will need it to get to 17. My odds of reaching 17 are not so good. If I don't get 36 this turn. Blake and I both need this, though, since our top plan is a 4 right now. Yes, I will easily bid more than this for it. Sixty-five, sure, why not? Now Sparrow gets out, which is good. And the other seven came. God damn it. Well, Blake's kind of forced to bid for this now because if Blake doesn't, like, if Spara gets this, Spara can buy out trash. Actually, no, they can't. Really? Really? Letting 38 go that cheap, huh? 35 and 21, I seem we're drawn in 38. So actually, I should have realized all the seven plants were in the game, so I may not have needed to overpay. But 36 actually gets pretty cheap resources right now. All right, so that's all the plants left in the game. So the two best six capacity plants are remaining. Um, another so a very solid six capacity plant with a 40, and then the other seven with 46. So Blake, I think, is pretty screwed in this situation. One coal and 36. Forty-six and forty-two are in the game, so I do need coal on thirty-six. Yeah, do need coal on thirty-six. So yeah. I'm trying to make Sparrow's builds as expensive as possible here, is my thought. Though maybe Blake could make a comeback, because I'm not going to be able to end it on the next turn, nor will Sparrow, I would expect. 
Blake could make a comeback here. This is interesting. Get a little use out of the green plant. I'm okay with this. Balance out my attacking with my builds here. Eighteen out, forty is in. And you know what? I think I'll pay for forty here. Because this way. What I could do this way is it would allow me. This would allow me to get to 18 on the next turn, which I think is going to be my plan. Okay. Hmm. Forty-two would be a blow up for me. In which case I I just pass on plants if forty-two comes. Anything else though? Okay, fifty. I'll buy this, sure. Game's gonna last two more turns, so it's gonna it should be a better deal than Yeah, it should be a better deal than Better deal than uh forty was. Cause Spara can't Ooh, Sparrow's actually going to buy a plant. Okay. Sure. Sure, then. I will stick you with it, Sparrow. I think Sparrow's out of this game now. That's just buying too much stuff. I don't even think Sparrow's going to get 18 on the next turn. But I should get an efficient plant for this turn, just to improve my situation. And the answer for me would be 35, not 42. I buy 35 here. And this sets me up. The only question is what I want to replace. I'm gonna take a guess here and say that Okay, Blake builds first. Blake's not going to end the game. I think the play for me is to replace 29 in this situation. Yeah. Do that. If I could get three turns out of 36, I'll be pretty happy with what I paid for it. Relative to the 38. Because 36 gets a, uh, much cheaper resources. For sure. Thirty-nine comes in. So we know forty-six is the last plant left in the deck. And that's gonna make for some interesting bidding. I mean Sparrow's gonna be out of the running for bids. It's gonna be have to it's gonna be up to me to drive up the price of forty-six for Blake.
check payments on 13 versus 14. So it's only five bucks. An extra five bucks I make if I were to build the 14 versus 13. Building the 13 would keep me below Blake in the turn order for next turn. I do have extra resources stored on two of my plants. But what I do like is the builds. The build situation here. Yep. I definitely build the 13. Sparrow builds before me on the next turn, unfortunately. I think I take the step this step one city here. And just stay below. I think this is my play. So, stuff that Sparrow's already built in. So I would need, okay, one, two, three, four, Okay, I, once again, I miscalculated this, and I won't be able to get to 18 here, which sucks. Yeah, I fucked this up. I fucked this up bad. Blake's going to win now. That was stupid of me. I just, I guess I got, I got scared of Blake building to 18, but I maybe should have, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what else I would have done in this game. I'm going to, I'm going to lose now. God damn it. I just, I'm trying to think, where did I lose this one? Was it the jumps? Was it all the jumps in step one? Was that the bad part? I mean, okay, Sparrow's actually storing extra coal, which is good, because I can get to 17. So I will get ahead of Sparrow, but Blake's going to win this, which sucks. Blake was behind for so much of the game. If I just gave... Mm, if I gave Blake 46, because I knew that I couldn't get to... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Blake just beats me regardless. The sad thing is I can almost get to 18, but alas, $6 short. So Blake wins. Good game, Blake. I want to see how much money Blake has left at the end. <gasps> really? I win?
Wow, wow, I completely fucked up the end game and still won here. Holy shit. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow, what a game. Wow, I thought I blew that one again in the end game. And I shouldn't have done that, I just should have... Man, I should have expected them not to have much money, because Blake had such a bad start, I really should not have expected Blake to have a lot of money. And Sparrow, like, I definitely, I'm definitely happy I gave Sparrow the 50 plant on that last turn. Because the, the uh, Sparrow just got into too deep of a hole with plants. I figured, because this game really goes to show why paying, you know, paying big money, like 40, 45 plus for both 25 and 26 is rarely a winning strategy in this game. And you see why there. Sparrow ended up replacing the 26 after paying almost 50 for it. You're not going to win games when you do that. If you're going to pay that much for a plant, it needs to be a plant that you're, you're keeping the entire game. So I'm really, really happy with, um, with how I played versus Sparrow in this game. Blake, a little less so, but... Yeah. So bidding in 46 was dumb for me. I shouldn't have panicked. Just don't panic. I just, I tend to assume players are richer than they are, I think, and can end, and the game will end sooner than it will. I think that's what happens with me. All right. Well, what a friggin' game. <laughs> anyway, with that, uh, see you later.